Hey guys, Tales of Creed here, and welcome to Tales of Destiny 2. What happened to Tales of Destiny? No, no, this is Tales of Eternia, but we are playing on the original PS1 version of the game, which was named Tales of Destiny 2 in America because of some copyright blah blah blah. So, that's what this whole name thing is. So, I'm sorry if that opening sequence in the episode 0 messes with your head a little bit. I did put in the description that I, I am doing the original PS1 version. But, uh, yeah. They named it Destiny 2. This is not Tales of Destiny 2. I haven't even done Tales of Destiny 1 yet. Uh, this is Tales of Eternia. Tales of Eternia is a game I've wanted to do for a very long time. Because it's actually one of my favorite Tales games. I really, really love this game. There's a lot of things that this game does that, like, is really fucking awesome. So, just a little... Just to clear up things a little bit, I actually owned a copy of the game and I wanted to play this game on the original PS1. So, that's why it's named that. And that's why we're dealing with it. <laughs> so, before we get started, I want to go through a couple things. I want to go ahead and switch the, switch the message speed up to 1. I want to change the party display to face because I think it looks cooler. And also, I want to change the sound effect volume, turn it down because... Um, really annoying thing in this game is, um, I'm going to make the voice volume, like, super high. <laughs> so the thing about this game is, like, for some reason they thought it was a great idea to make the sound effect for, like, clicking over things a large and loud annoying beep. It was not a great idea, that's why they didn't include it in any other game ever. Nobody likes loud beeps like this! And that's about it. So, let's go ahead and start up this new journey. Why din for you? O paururu poti. O tu sweti. O umundu de suti imudu. Ti anku yayo. Aiti aisu ti utun ti gui. Quiggy. Di inunti di oburro, prui sun in suifu.
Hm? Huh. Is that... Read! Farrah? Hey! Long time no see! How's it going? Did your hunt go well? I just took what I need for today. Nothing hard about that. Wow. I have to admit it. You sure are handy with your sword. Fair, it sure is a surprise to see you here. Yeah, lately I've been busy in the fields. Reed, do you still come here every day? Yeah. You've liked this place ever since we were small. So what's up today? Playing hooky? Of course not. There's something different about the sky, so I came to take a look. The sky? Don't the colors look different? Do they? Can't say I've noticed. It's definitely weird. I think something's going to happen. Yeah? Like what? I don't know. Maybe something's about to come falling from Celestia. Don't sound so thrilled. Anything coming from there is bound to be bad news. How would you know? There hasn't been contact between our worlds for 2,000 years. Anyway, life is meant to be simple. When things stay the way they are, that's true happiness. Here we go again. Reed's philosophy. You never change. Oh yeah? Well maybe I'm just that way because of all the trouble that a certain somebody caused. Farah? Hey, over there! What's that? Uh-oh. Farah! Run! Read! Phew! Farah, you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. But something came down, didn't it? I'm gonna have a look. Hey, Farah! Wait, it's too dangerous! Ah! She's always like this! Well, that was kind of dangerous. Farah, you might not want to run off on your own like that. And with that, we are in our first battle of the game. There are random encounters in this game, so we're gonna have to deal with that as the time comes. I'll probably be cutting them out in due time. But yeah, as you can see, uh, this game actually has voice acting, and it's actually pretty good, honestly. Uh, this was a very late PS1 game, so they threw in some voice acting, which is fucking radical. Um, the voice of Reed is actually Sly Cooper, so... That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know the voice of Farah, but I like her voice a lot. I got I got really attached to her voice. But let's get going. We gotta catch up to her because she's running off on her freaking crazy way. You really gotta figure out wait what's going on, don't you? I mean, I guess that's a normal thing to think. But yeah, you uh, Reed uses uh, axes and swords, you know, whatever. Uh, Farrah uses her fists. Farrah, I'm just gonna straight out say is my favorite character of the game. I really like Farrah. And, I don't know, I just really like Farrah. That's all there is to it. I love Farrah. Um, so we found a wooden shield here. Um, also we can go into the menu here and go and change stuff. Um, I, as you can see, you can see, uh, the face for Reed. Um, I just prefer to have the faces on. I don't know, I, I don't know, I feel like it's better that way, but just in case you want to see, uh, there's a character. I just like having the faces! I think they're cool! 
But now that we have a wooden shield, let's put that on. And uh, same thing as per usual for uh, Tails games. Uh, you have skills. We don't really have anything yet. Uh, we have items. You know, all that jazz. We can cook! Can't cook yet. So let's wait on that. Also, HP has been restored. It's a load point. When you save inside a dungeon, then load a game, your game will restart from this load point. So you can save in dungeons. You can save at any time, basically. But when you load, you'll be you'll be loaded at one of these points. So it's kind of a save point. Kind of not. It's kind of a loose save point, if you think about it. So, uh, since it's the first session, I'm not really going to uh, be cutting out battles for this uh for this session. Oh, there's also a really cool thing I want to talk about. Um, for how to do, how to unlock arts. Um, I don't know if I can actually show it off yet, but let's look in the status. Okay, I can. Um, also, you get to see Reed. Reed's super cool. Um, you get titles as per usual, but if you look at the bottom, there's the slash level and there's the thrust level. Um, getting arts is... I believe dependent on what these levels are. So what you need to do is thrust your weapon and slash your weapon. So as long as you keep doing both of those, you'll gain arts for both of those levels. So that's pretty much how you get arts. So you want to make sure to not only slash enemies or not only thrust enemies, but be sure to use all kinds of different things. Hey, you thing. Huh? What are you? You're a peculiar looking thing. Uh, weirdo, run away! Okay, fine. Hey, thing. Quickie! Quickie! You want me to follow? Is that it? Uh, sure. I guess not. Maybe I will later. <laughs> so I guess we found that little weirdo. We'll see more of him later, I'm guessing. So, you can't really thrust very well with an axe, but you can try and use the down attacks to get some thrust out. Get some thrusting in. You know, you can never... You can never not thrust. Always thrust. Hey! Farah! Reed, over here! What is this? Who's that? Unrurui Tiai Muku Yayo Foidi Andrupu Mugutum. Uh, can you repeat that just with a little bit more English? You know, maybe everything? <laughs> um, this is a whole different language. By the way, two worlds already confirmed in this game. Get your tails bingo out because we're going all the way. <laughs> I really like the. this fake. I believe it's fake language that they made up here. It's super cool looking! It's super cool looking! I don't know, I just really like this this fake language. What? I can't understand a single word. What do we do? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what she's saying. Uh... Uh, anyway, it's dangerous here. Let's get her out of here. Why? Because! Ouch! Farah, you okay? 
Yeah, I'm fine. What about her? What is this? This rainbow light? Fibrial! Ow, ow! Bow I tea, usu tia usu! Purun I soon unruputun! I, I, I got it, I got it! Can you let go of me now? Hmm. We don't know who she is, but one thing's for sure. And what would that be? She likes you. D don't be stupid. That's silly. She wants help. From both of us. Help? Oh, I see. We can't understand her, but we sure can help. How? Hmm, I wonder. Far away village Rashins. Is that how you say it? I don't know. It looks like a nice village, though. And so that's what happened. We wanted to ask for your advice. We'll search the site of the explosion immediately. It might still be dangerous. Right. And... Mm, what about her? She must be cast out. Jeez, your voice is fucking radical. <laughs> that is the worst thing you could say right now, but god, what a great voice. It might seem cruel, but it is my duty to protect this village. That's no excuse. You're saying we just turn our backs on a girl in trouble? Farah! Look at the color of her skin. Strange clothes. Unintelligible speech. She could be the seed of disaster. Huh? What's wrong? Uh, what? What? What's going on? I-I don't so! Uagai no fui muro yayo tundi doya! Ah! Stop! Yeah, I'd, I'd rather appreciate it if you didn't hurt her. We kind of want to figure out what she's here for. Oh, Thunderblade! You can't- oh my god. Well, let's go. <laughs> let's just get in there. So, um... Unfortunately, I didn't really grind while I was out there, so I don't really have any arts. But we took care of them rather easily. Slash up, thrust up, new skills, everyone's powering up. What was that? Are you okay? Bundi yau pai didi undu? O ai tu, ai rute guati. Ti ai mukusu, fui di, su ai numugu tun. What she said. Yeah. That man. Was he after her? It didn't look like a father greeting his lost child, that's for sure. Yeah. Ah, Elder! Are you alright? Are, 
Are you alright? You don't need to repeat the line, okay? I think he heard you the first time, Farah. <laughs> you two? Again? Are you two bringing disaster upon us? Just like before? You're wrong! Elder, this has nothing to do with back then. Cast the girl out. Banish her. I understand. We'll do as you order. However, I'm going with her as well. Do as you wish. Goodbye. Hey, hey! 